looks almost. Anyway, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do this new Alan Awake today. Ooh, new game. Okay. Well, we're, we're just to go on normal. Don't know me mess well up. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares <coughs> exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Okay, she has a crash. waiting for me there. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. I have to pick up a hundred of them? Jesus. That was a good start, everyone. Um, do I run from him?
surprise me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Those wives and figureheads to the drama? What the fuck is that guy? I missed you! Damn. You can't stop! Ah, crap. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? was the last safe place on Earth.
Okay. Hiya Steve, welcome. Should we explore? I can keep oh. this up forever. Hey, we're going to the lighthouse. my end I think. It keeps telling me that something needs to be buffered but I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe because my PC is downloading and doing about 50,000 things at once. Downloads over now, so it should be fine. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Mm hmm. Is she dreaming? I guess he was dreaming. I don't know anymore. Okay, that was a fucking bit confusing. Like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down yeah. if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. How much do you believe that he's going to let us have our privacy? Because I don't. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Yuppies. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. 
We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation! Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Don't go in there, gentlemen. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving oh, me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Okay. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's nice. Let's get the... F wow, this is some creepy-ass game. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. 
I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> uh oh. Can you Lego. believe this? Place? Wrong key. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on KBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, great. Well, he's gonna have the fear of darkness by the time we're finished. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Uh, power's normally in a basement. Shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. The island had now been a site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Fuck do I get into this dump? An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let that be lights. The lights are on. Good work, honey. All freshen up a bit and start settling in. 
Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Oh, okay. I guess he's gonna. It was a beautiful so, what's place. this game about? I don't actually know really myself, myself to be honest, Steve. Here. Sleep here so, and forget about my work. Just something I saw, and I thought, well, I'll give it a a whirl and see what it's like. I so, we can be happy here. I'm guessing it's a story. Getting dark again. Why do I have this bad feeling when it gets dark in this this game that we're gonna get fucking haunted? Alice, honey. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Still can't get in these doors. It's probably wearing sexy underwear. I was saying. Surprise. Alice. Oh what God. Is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would okay. be a Okay. And I know I said sexy you, underwear. Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping Oh, I know I need to download. So now you want to get me committed? Do it later. No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Hmm, <sighs> OBS, oh, there it is. Damn it. Oh, fuck, I didn't want it to download right now. Oh, Alright. Apparently it's downloading now. Alice? Alice? That was quite quick, actually. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Oh, God, here we go. It's all right. I'm coming. What the hell? Crap. She's gone over the edge. Oh no. <gasps> Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Now what? Oh my god, I don't know if I'm alive or fucking dead or asleep. Or... I felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Okay. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> okay. Okay, I was about to say, I swear I saw a poster. Or banner. Sticky. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Okay. 
I'm very confused if we're alive or awake, we're in a coma, or... He's having flashbacks, Hello? and... Uh. And this is a really bad Hello? fucking nightmare. Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, okay, I don't know where the back button is on here. Oh, there we go. It's quite, quite big. And the only problem is I think I'm gonna miss like some of the manuscript. Yeah, this is an old game, Steve. Old school. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Why do I have a funny feeling this is the shadow of the axe man? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe a torch and a gun. Portions employees must wear protective eyewear at all times. Okay. Making sure I haven't missed any of this transcript shit. Manifest. <gasps> oh, okay. You can get hurt from jumping at high heights. Oh, okay. Well, 
Well, that was a pathetic jump. Hey! Hey, you! Oh. Fail! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. non reflecting reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. Fair and square. Uh, what's this? Ah, oh, sweet. Right. Is that the second page? Yes, I'm in the right. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I just sent a shiver right down my back. Okay, can't go this way. Shit, I nearly just died. Fucking corner. What the fuck? I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. It's a gun and a power, a, a flashlight. During your trying, it's the latest. Incontestably proven. Yes. Let you. Phew. Great Falls Sheriff Station. Oh man. Stone. Hello. Hello. And keep those cholesterol levels. The spot. Hey, 
okay then. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. No, I'm planning to find the next part of the manifest. a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick okay to this spot right it's everywhere I can fucking turn them on brilliant <laughs> whoa Power switch, what's this? Right, that's the how I get across the last fence. place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Okay. And it turned into like Painted blood. Manifests. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, personally. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh, okay. This place is fucking crazy, man. Uh, I want to make sure, like I said, I haven't missed any of these manifests. I personally want to come back on myself. Did I miss all these pages, or are they just... Rose knew she had been gushing. Okay, no, because it's not going to make any sense. I'm going to have to go back. We'll see. We'll see how it goes when we get through. We might find another one in a minute. Because I personally didn't see... ...any others. Did anyone else see anything? Because I didn't see anything. No, I think... I think I got it all. Well, the tree's falling, so you can't actually personally go back. Okay. So if I've missed anything, then... Tough tits.
Okay. Well, we did call the, you know, the sheriff's department, but we didn't really get through. game is creepy as shit. There's a bridge. I when I saw I got a flashlight. Below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I want one of these torches. They're so fucking bright. Look at that. Right. And a tree over there. Look. Hey. Oh, they're freshly cut or something. Yeah, baby, this was worth coming this way. It's like I've missed a complete fucking section. I think I might have missed a, a section of transcripts. Kind of sucks. But I couldn't see where I would have missed them. them. Why is it every time I hear their voices I get a shiver down my back? How much of the transcript have I actually missed by the look of it? If I only find two more pages I'm really upset. Stucky was yeah. still out there in the dark stalking. Um as I searched everywhere.
Alright, I've reached my limit apparently. Oh my god, where do I go? That way I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah. Because there's a manuscript bit there, and I just picked that up. That's what's left of the old cabin. Only if it's doing it like fucking weirdly backwards and that you find some and then you find some more in a minute. Because that would be so messed up. Fuck me, I just wasted a load of batteries for no reason. Ooh. Caution. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area. Some more of them lovely arrows. This is the way I gotta go. Um, Follow these arrows very quickly. Right, no transcripts so I can hidden down here. There's a ladder.
Okay, I guess I'm uh, climbing the ladder then. Taken. They're taken. Taken a field with darkness. Well, I found another supply box. But no transcripts. Okay. Make Alan walk now for a minute, just because he's out of breath. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Let's rest this bloody transcript then. Oh, uh, why is that the funniest thing in this prick's gonna be around somewhere? I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. Yeah, I, I get that. I'm looking for a bloody transcript, mate. This game is odd. Ooh, what's this? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Oh great, I've got to get a generator. Some more ladders. There's a thermal. Thermos. Sorry. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Yeah, oh right, oh right, asshole. I get that. I know exactly kind of what I gotta do. I gotta look for a generator. Right now, the generator is not on my list of things to do. Well, it should be, but I'm looking for fucking manuscripts now. Just piss away. Because I personally don't want to miss any. Run all the way back around. Alright, I'm coming. Right, there's the generator. Oh, 
suck the ladder. Absolutely and utterly nothing. I should have done my research into this game before I started playing it, but I really didn't, I just... Jesus! Place for comfort that was, wasn't it? Okay, I'm not finding any more manuscripts. Ah! When birds attacked. So it is kind of like random pages just everywhere. They're in obvious places as well. So it shouldn't be too bad for me to find them. <clears throat> With all this forestry equipment around... There had to be something oh I could Shut use to reach the top. Yes, no. Fuck off, it's right here, look. <sighs> and how many do you think I've just woken up by doing that shit? my half regenerated. Okay. Safe. I get it. Wow, I can't run out of no better, could I, if I wanted to? Mm. Ah, no! Oh. I did that. This is perfect, that side. Stop it for swinging for a second. Yeah, I'm across. Is 
a bunch of cans. Nothing special. There's another cabin. That one is literally on the path. This is the one I want, so we can carry on the, the storyline of what. Okay. There's a stuff behind this as well. I'm gonna search the cabin last and just gonna have a quick look in the woods and make sure like I gotta say, fuck that, I ain't walking all the way around again. more of that paint so maybe it was worth looking down here Get off the train, Jesus. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. The weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listeners know I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Okay, so that was just messed up. It's like the radio doesn't even realize what's going on. God, we've come so far. Right, 
Well, I see the gas station in the distance now, the so we must be coming to the end. Now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Yeah, and then you hear that. Ooh. Glad I came backwards. I think Toby's dead. I think Toby, his dog is dead. I think I think they might have just found the dog. No going back that way now. Fuck me. Alright, I knew they were out there, but Jesus. Find the path. I don't know what's going on. So this is where I drop down, okay. Shit. What a fucking headshot. I'm oh, still missed. Alright, okay. I thought I got him in the head. Ah, oh, crap. Come back. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, I'm saving the shotgun for the 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 guy. What's this down there? Eh? 
Yeah, fuck you. Prick. This is one weird game. Alright, here we go. TV in the gas station. Okay. So this is like a checkpoint where I'm gonna go through and then I might be able to come back or This place is just fucking full of it. I, I think I've searched this. I've searched it as much as I can. Things Christ, I haven't missed any of the transcripts. I just this brings me up where the drums are. I searched it. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, it did. I've searched it. Okay. I am so lost. Ah, there. That's it. Safe havens and like places like this is fucking creepy. Emergency. Yeah, see, no going back now. So when I jump down, that's it. So we got a truck, and we got some more of that weird and wonderful paint. Don't hurry, leave me that way. Okay. Let me make a cigarette very, very quickly, people. And then... I'm going to do a test run tomorrow for GTA. Um, for recording. And see if I can actually stream that again. The only issue is that my PC does turn itself off like it did in... Uh, Fallout 3, if anybody's watched that, it cut out after about half an hour or midstream. So, it did it once to me today that it cut out. Um, it did cut out once today. Um, My head popped twice, so, but then that's just M5 for ya, um, but apart from that, I was on it for quite a while, I was on it from like this morning, so I'm gonna try to try to get that back for us, because we all love GTA, it's very good for me as well. Um, 
I am looking at new motherboards and things. Uh, but the CPU I want is like £200, so it's expensive and I know it is. It's all about just having the right time and the money and everything. But I think my CPU might be a bit fucked. I think that's the issue. So, alright, let's try it. Okay. Let's go this way first, because this is where these lovely little arrows are taking me, so another storage box somewhere. I haven't missed anything, no. Just making sure I haven't missed anything at this moment in time. Two behind me, three behind me. Amazing what shadows can do. Right, another manuscript. Not the missing page I wanted. Two, three, There's four pages to find. Thank 
Bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Fuck. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please. Stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own okay. or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Oh, fucking gay. That was fucking weird. Hmm. Right, we're gonna turn that off because it's driving me fucking crazy already. Uh, now what?
Okay, why do I have a funny feeling I have a battle coming on my hands because of how much ammo is stacked there? Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Mm-hmm. Wow. You weren't too bad to kill. Right, that's my way out. Let me just quickly check around, make sure I haven't missed anything. Like a transcript or a coffee pot. Okay, I don't think yet. There we go. So I always double check. Reach my limit, right? Transcripts are usually quite in the way, so you usually do find them, but... for the guy so and there's like four missing I 
I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Ah, I missed that. I don't think I've missed anything. Ooh, no. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Right, nothing there. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. It's closed. The Deer Fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Okay, how can you lose a week? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Well, you're being chased by shadows. So in theory, I'd say, yes, you've lost the plot a little bit. Uh, quite a bit, probably. Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. 
Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, <laughs> have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Car's gone. Oh. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls. Just make sure it loads up again and plays Honey, the story. I'm home. Ah, it doesn't. Honey. Previously on Alan Way. Get it to do it. Right. That's fine. 
and I can go back to whatever point and find out where I've missed. That's fine. So I will find out where them transcripts are. Only missing three pages, so but yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm gonna end off the stream and uh, we'll be back to next time for episode two. Um if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe but follow button here or find me on Discord, uh Facebook or Twitter. Uh Discord does tell you when I go live, um along with um Twitter. Twitter tells you when I am live as well. Facebook, I need to get back into it. I have forgotten the password. So, I do need to get back into it at some point soon and uh, get that sorted out and uh, get that rerunning. Um, but yeah. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, like I said, don't, don't forget to go check out my Discord here. Um, it does tell you when I go live and everything else. Um... I do have admin and everything on there guys, so they do monitor it for me, so uh, it's just uh, simple rules on there, so just be polite, da, 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 da. but um, I'm going to go for now, and this has been episode 1 of Alan Wake, thank you for joining, whoever you are or wherever you are, have a good day or night, and goodbye.